this video includes an introduction on recurring donations. You use the recurring donations when uh, a contact or a household or an organization needs to make a same donation over a period of time uh, at successive intervals. So Salesforce, once you define the recurring donation, Salesforce will automatically create those many donations. So for example, uh, you are expecting a thousand dollar donation every month from Jamie Smith. So you'll create just one recurring donation and Salesforce will automatically create 12 different donations based upon this original recurring donation that you created. The recurring donation functionality can be initiated from a contact. You can go to new recurring donation button and then start from there. Similarly, it can be started from a household or it could or there is a separate tab for recurring donation where you can look at all the existing recurring donations or you could create a new one also from there. The recurring donation uh, has a refresh opportunities button. This button will update all the related donations for this recurring donation automatically. Some important fields in recurring donation are these. So there's a name of the recurring donation. You, you should put a, you can put a keyword recurring uh, just to make sure that you can identify this is a recurring donation. You have, you can optionally specify an organization name, which is the name of the company that is going to give the donation. You can specify uh, the contact, the person who will be giving the donation, the amount of the donation. You can also specify the number of installments uh, and the installment period, which is which is options like monthly, annually, or weekly. Uh, there is a field called schedule type. This is a pick list field. This can be set to multiply or divide. If this is set to multiply and then amount is 1000, then each installment is assumed to be of $1,000. If this is set to divide and the amount is $12,000 and the, there are 12 installments, then each uh, individual donation will be for $1,000. The date established field is set to the first, uh, first donation, the date when the first donation is being given. The default stage is pledged and the percentage is set to 50%. Let's go ahead and see a quick demo of recurring donation. So let's go to uh, Jamie Smith's record. We can see that there are four existing opportunities or donations that are existing right now. We'll create a recurring donation and through that we'll see that how automatically 12 donations get created. Let's go to the section for recurring donations and let's click on new recurring donation. Let's just fill in the important fields. The contact is pre-filled. Let's say uh, Jamie wants to give $12,000 and this is the total amount. So, so we want to say divide by so that individual amount each for each donation becomes a thousand dollars. And that's pretty much it. So we can click on the save button. This creates a new recurring donation for Jamie Smith and it automatically creates 12 uh, donations. So if we go to Jamie Smith's record now, We can see that now there are 16 donations from four donations and these donations are numbered 1 to 1 of 12, 2 of 12, 3 of 12, etc. Let's go back to the recurring donation. This is the list of the 12 donations that we have. We can click on it. It's 
recurring donation is essentially a shortcut for creating these 12 donations in one single step we have created a repeated donations we can go to the individual donation and we can see that the amount is set to a thousand dollars this is the first one and the date is set as per our specifications the stage is set to pledged which is the default stage and the probability is set to 15% 50% which can be changed as any donation we can uh, use the payment feature of Salesforce a payment record has already been created we can make any changes as needed now let's uh, go uh, go back to the recurring donation let's uh, let's make some changes and see how it behaves so let's change this from divide by to multiply by the record is being saved now and this automatically should change the amount which was individual donation was a thousand dollars now each donation is set to twelve thousand dollars so if you use multiply by then the total amount is used is the donate is the amount for each individual donation let's uh, see if we can change this then see what happens now we change the amount back to thousand dollars schedule type is continues to be multiply by so we got individual donations uh, set to thousand dollars again let's say uh, and now we'll illustrate the usage of refresh opportunities refresh opportunities basically recreates uh, updates or creates the related opportunities for the for the recurring donation so let's delete some of them let's say we delete the first donation and let's change the amount of the second one So we can say the first donation is deleted and the amount for the uh, 4000 uh, is changed to the, so the second donation. Now let's try the refresh opportunities button. What happens is that it, uh, it sets it back to the original state. So the first opportunity got created again. And then second donation, the amount was changed to $1,000. That's the usage of refresh opportunities button. But Salesforce does update as you change the amount, as you change the, the number of installments or the schedule type, it automatically updates the existing donations. But if, if you have deleted donations, or if, then you can use the refresh opportunities button.